Hello YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and make that tutorial on how to make this your second computer monitor, uh, a tablet. Um, this works for both uh, Mac computers and PC computers, just so you know. Um, so first you need to download, well I guess the first option to make this super easy is in order to develop, uh, to turn on this developer options, you need to go to about device. <coughs> so this option, if you don't see this option, then in order to get that option to pop up, you go to about device, look for your build number, build number right here, you're going to click that seven times, six, seven, mine's already been enabled, we just click it literally seven times and this option pops up. When this option pops up, you want to click it and you want to go to USB debugging, you want to make sure it's checked. So, Allow USB debugging, say OK. And your computer. Um, my, my tablet's actually physically plugged in to my computer. Uh, you don't need to have it plugged in quite yet, but you can plug it in if you want to. It's not going to screw anything up. Um, so next you want to download the software. The software is called Tumon. on USB. So you download that from the Google Play Store. It's right there. That's what it's called, Tumon USB, USB monitor. As I said in my previous video, uh, this does cost money. I think it's $8.49. Um, to me, it was well worth it. I'm, I've been using it since uh, as a second monitor and it works great, especially to keep all the, to keep my real estate free in Photoshop and Autodesk sketchbook. I can move all the uh, swatches and everything brushes all on this screen while I edit and work on this screen. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so you'd have to purchase the app. Uh, I did. Um, and just hit open. Now it's going to look for, hopefully it's not auto connecting. No, okay. So the USB cable needs to be connected at this point, so if you haven't already, go ahead and connect your USB cable to your laptop. USB 3.0 or 2.0 should work. Um, after that, you're going to go ahead and install this program on your PC. And to do that, Android, that's how to turn on uh, USB debugging mode. <coughs> I had trouble finding it. It's kind of tricky, clicking that seven times to figure that out. Anyways. So, Tumon USB. Um, you don't want that first one. This first link is for your device, such as tablet. This link below, right here, is what you're looking for. That is the web address. If for whatever reason you can't find it, it's called Easy N, the letter N, and then Light, L I G H T dot com. Easy and Light. And once again, I said that it works for both PC and Mac. So I have a PC, so I would download this first one. If you have a Mac, you would obviously download the second one. Um, I already have it installed and everything, so installation instructions are very, very straightforward as for any program. If you're trying to do something like this, I assume you know how to get through an installation So, of two months. So once you get through all that, uh, this one will pop up. You'll probably be on your home screen. Uh, right now it says no device connected. Um, that's because I'm literally not connected right now. I'm physically connected, but it's not uh, mirroring that screen yet. So um, you can go to display options and open display settings. And right now it shows, hey, you know, I don't have anything. So now on your tablet, you can hit connect. If you have two blue lights here, that means you're good to go. You should have two blue lights at this point because you have your app up and running. And Tumon PC program installed, execute Tumon, and you already have that developer option. If you did not de uh, turn on that developer option, uh, Tumon will guide you itself on how to turn that on. From here, he's going to connect. Okay, the PC. Then this will monitor, mirror my screen. And as you see, it literally pops up like a second monitor. It's pretty awesome. I can even drag this right over here. Oop. And let's see, whoops. 
I had a little bit of trouble sometimes moving from migrating from one to the other, but otherwise it works great. So that is how you make this a second monitor. <clears throat> and as I said in my last video, if you happen to have a tablet, um, or a Wacom tablet, I'm sorry, I'm getting tablets mixed up with tablets, but if you have a Wacom tablet such as this, um, half of this real estate becomes for that monitor and the other half for this. And if you don't like that, um, I'm sure there's a way to dedicate this to a single monitor. I'm not quite sure how to do that right now. Uh, it might be under the Wacom tablet settings uh, for the device, but I'd have to play around with that a little bit. If you guys are interested in uh, doing something like that where you only want to use this for this screen and then you want to use your mouse for that screen, or for both screens rather, then uh, I can try and figure something out for that. Uh, but as I was saying, if you have uh, Autodesk Sketch Sketchbook, which I've been using recently for drawing, uh, the reason why I like this, as I said in my previous videos, you can keep all your swatches and everything over here. Exit that out. So this way it doesn't take up my screen real estate, and I can bring this brushes over there too. I had that before, but Boop. And you see all my stuff are automatically popped up over here. So it kind of remembers the layout that you had, which is nice. I don't have to drag them over here every single time. I just happen to have those on the other screen at this point in time. So now I have all the screen real estate I need while I have my options on a second screen. That's the main reason why I, why I wanted this. Now if you happen to have a pen, uh, you can use your pen on this screen. It does work. And it does in fact uh, correlate with your PC, not with the tablet. Uh, Android, it coordinates with your PC anyways. Um, so you can change options and everything in here. If I can click right. Here we go. And it's not too much latency. You can see a little bit of latency. It's not too bad. But it's not too bad. So um, <clears throat> I would not recommend drawing on this screen, however, using your application. Uh, the reason for that being as I showed my previous video, I'll just show it again in case you didn't see my previous video. Um, you might be thinking, hey, you know, why don't you use this for actually drawing in? I mean, it's right here, you can draw on it. And for most intents and purposes, it works pretty good. However, let's say if you're doing something detailed, like you're doing a character head, I'm doing this looking through my phone, so forgive my drawing. But uh, so if you're doing some sort of character head, right? Let's say you want to make an eye right there. Okay. Ah, it's actually working pretty good right now. I don't know why. Why is it working so good right now? It didn't used to work so good. There it is. Okay, so that that right there is the issue. But basically, if you're trying to do detailed work and you're trying to draw a nose on this guy, it it's not precise in where the line starts and stops. So if I want to continue off of that line, right now I'm pressing, it, it creates that. Now, some of you may think that it's my brush options um, because of hardness, so let me turn this to a fully hard brush. But it's still... It's actually working pretty good. Um, before, it was not. It was creating a very large gap. Or maybe it's just if you go fast. I don't know. Maybe I need to play around with this more. Maybe it will work. But... Um, I'm really uh, interested in trying that right now. <laughs> uh, before it wasn't working very well, and now it is. So uh, it's something to play with, and it may be sometimes that it works uh, when it's not under a large load. Maybe it's uh, I, I don't know. Right now it seems to be working just fine though. So you may be able to draw on this directly. There. There. See, that's my issue. I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's not a brush property that I'm messing up. Because if I use, uh, if I use my, oh right there, it actually didn't pick up anything. I'm making long strikes, but it's only doing small strikes. So, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's working right. But you can mess with it, you know what, you have the program now, if you want. 
and you can mess with it yourself and see if it works for you. So I uh, hope this tutorial helps you guys installing this and getting this set up. Um, to my experience, this is way more accurate and works way better uh, than drawing on the physical screen, but for the sake of having the full real estate for being able to draw is very uh, useful. So, hope this guy uh, helps you out and have a good day.